<laughs> oh man, does that not put a smile on my face? They finally did it, guys. It took them 12 days to finally get one red day of MMTLP. And boy, oh boy, did they pick the perfect timing. I'm just so excited to go over this information in today's video because these shorts, these headies are just so pathetic that it just makes me laugh. <laughs> All right, guys, so as you can see, MMTLP is down 6.89%, down 49 cents for the day. Uh, we're at $6.62, which is two carats, guys. This is nothing. So the average volume for MMTLP is 697,000 shares, and we traded 1.4 million in volume today. And we're going to go over some of that. All right. But look at this, guys. I'm going to take you a look here at the Google Trends because things are looking up. Uh, as you can see here, this October 23rd to the 29th, we had a 69 uh hit here number on the mmtlp search now we're waiting to see the updated numbers from october 30th up through here in the first week in november so we will keep an eye on this when this starts to form and see as you know we're waiting on the s1 to drop all right so here we are on the yahoo finance let me get this adjusted because i want you all to be able to see this and i want to go over some of the volume with you guys as you can see we were looking pretty good today i mean we were just slowly here consolidating throughout the day as you see uh here we open down here at uh what was that 1028 1028 let me go here to 11 there we go 11 2 boom 9 30 a.m we had 265,000 in volume green candle 10 30 a.m 115,000 volume green candle 11 30 a.m 67,000 in volume green candle Going here to 1230, 167,000 shares, green candle. Here we hit our first red candle at 1.30 p.m., 124,000. And oh boy, look at that. They about hit us with these three candles here. Uh, the next candle at 2.30 was 484,000 shares, guys. They dumped onto the market to drive the price from about 740 down to 680. And then this last candle at 3.30, they dumped another 147,000 uh, shares to take it down here to uh, the current price here. at well, 6.62 is where we got back at. So there you go. Uh, these three candles here, 124, uh, 484. If we just do a quick little roundup, let's see here about five, six, seven, maybe 800,000 shares. They dumped on the market right at the end, and you can see that was a boatload of shares within that three-hour time frame, three and a half hours. Uh, they were dumping on the market to try to bring the price down, and that's just laughable is what that is because, guys, this price action doesn't mean anything to us OG holders. If you know we've been covering this since day one, October 7, 2021, we know the potential. If this thing has a run-up and a short squeeze, great. We will think about what we're going to do. If this doesn't run up, we're perfectly fine holding our shares, going in the next bridge. All they're doing is, is giving us a discount to buy them again at the cheaper price. So thank you again, shorts. But I have to say, you're still not doing your job right because I'd like to get them cheaper than 662. If that's what you're looking to do. I mean, can you get it down a little lower than that? I mean, that's pretty pathetic. Uh, let's see. The highest I've ever bought MMTLP was five bucks. I've been buying forever the last year. And ranging anywhere from 70 cents, 80 cents to a dollar, dollar 75. I've been buying all that time and I was buying at five bucks and I'll probably be buying again here at the six dollar range, if not in the sevens when it goes back up to there, whatever this thing does, because I truly believe in uh, what Next Bridge is going to do. All right, let's take a quick look here at MMAT today. What a fantastic day, up about 12 percent, up 10.43 percent during the regular trading hours, up another one and a half percent after hours ended at $1.29. As you can see, the average volume for MMAT, which is going to be our next running play because these two are kind of, uh, in a sense, married in a sense. Uh, here you can see average volume, 6.4 million shares, and we traded 22 million, guys. Almost 4X in volume. Keep that in mind. And if you look here, 
Uh, looking here at 11 to 9.30 a.m., 5.24 million shares green candle. At 10.30 a.m., 5.63 green candle. Here you can see there was a big attack. 4.5 million shares red candle. Uh, 1.4 million shares green candle. 1.5 million shares green candle. Here we have 2.36 million red candle. And here we have a 1.43 million red candle. And it doesn't give you the after hours there. But there you can see. They did the same thing to MMAT that they were trying to do to MMTLP. But MMAT still held green. Uh, I think there is a lot of people that probably put stop losses on. If you truly understand what MMTLP is, you should not put a stop loss on. If you're just trying to day trade this, if you're trying to swing trade this, you don't understand what it is, and you're just in here for the hype and the momentum, then probably you know do what you got to do. But people like me and the other YouTubers and the OGs been in this for over a year. We ain't selling. There is no stop loss. If anything's going to be a very high sell limit, like 85 bucks, that's where we're going to be selling at, 85 to 100 bucks, and that's where we initially start selling at. So screw you shorts. Finally here, guys, the otcshortreport.com finally updated, and I can get you some information. So we finally got the 31st information. You can see the volume was 1.234 million. They shorted 656,000 shares. That was a 53.2% short volume. Uh, I'm going to be really excited for when this updates for today's numbers on November 2nd. But we got yesterday's numbers, November 1st, the volume was 752,000, and they shorted 369,000 shares for a 49%, guys. I cannot wait to see what this is going to show for tomorrow. I'm going to be super excited because it's going to be pretty high. Uh, it has to be at least 50, 60%. Uh, couldn't even be 70 like down here back when October 19th they did that. So we'll wait and see. All right. Here on the iBorrow desk, interesting enough, nothing has really happened. Uh, they didn't borrow any shares from this, so I don't know where they got the shares. Unless people was selling here, I don't know. Maybe people had stop losses, I don't know. Uh, there ain't really many people that I know that follow my YouTube channel or follow me on Twitter that probably has a stop loss out for this to really trigger, so I don't know. Maybe there's people out there buying it and putting stop losses on it, I don't know, but they did not borrow any here according to Ibarra does. All right, oilprice.com. Take a look at the oil and gas prices because keep in mind, if you're in MMTLP, you're in this for next bridge. Our land has 3.2 billion barrels of oil, tons of natural gas, 134,000 net acres, and a bunch of potential well locations. And guys, they originally had five wells drilled for this year. They added two more to seven. They only need five to stay in compliance. They added two more. There's two more wells being drilled. So what's that tell you, man? Very bullish stuff. WTI crude sent at $88.93. Brent crude at $96.16. And natural gas come back up at $6.20. All right, let's go take a look over here on the Twitter. Uh, guys, I want to say thank you to everyone that has followed me on the live stream last night. If you're not following me on Twitter, go follow me at TerryZ247. We are approaching 3,000 followers. Last night on the live stream, we broke 2,900. We are on the milestone of 3,000 followers. So if you're not following me and you love my information and you want to keep up to date, follow me on Twitter at TerryZ247. All right, our buddy Wedge here. This is for MMAT. We have now reached, we are welcoming to day number six of 10 over the hump. As a reminder, we have until February 21st, 2023 to complete these 10 days. If we complete these 10 days in a row, great. If we close above a dollar on this run, we have time to try again. So there you can see 26, 27, 28, 31st, first, and today's the second. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Guys, we got four more days to go and we're back in the NASDAQ compliance. Gardner Wade has a tweet out here today. Check out Meta Hero, Jonathan Waldron, CTO explaining how AR Fusion and then in web will enhance your future augmented world. Augmented world. There is a link to the YouTube there. Go check it out. Uh, you can get that on my page or Gardner Wade at Gardner Wade 3. He is the brother of Houston Wade that would talk about Acme stock. So there you go. Uh, he's been awful pretty bullish too about stuff he's been posting. All right. So earlier today, we were trending number three on stock twits after the obvious short attack or slash stop loss hunting. And I said, the shorts are stupid to give up and cover. Basically, they just keep digging your hole deeper 
and deeper. Here you can see, uh, when I took the screenshot, we were trending number three uh, on StockTwits, and there it was on the actual uh, homepage, we're trending number three, we were down because of that blatant short attack, and you know, it is what it is, they do what they gotta do. But we're trending, and it's pretty obvious when you see a dip like that. And speaking here of, you know, buying the dip, in a sense today I bought the rip. Uh, now I've been buying MMAT for a long time, even longer than I've been buying MMTLP. Uh, so here you can see, I decided to go in and grab 300 shares of MMAT today at $1.30 and add more to my position. Uh, people was commenting on this post, why are you still using Robinhood? I told you guys before, if you follow me, you know, I mainly use Robinhood for my options and I will trade options in and out to, you know, get cash and make cash. And I had the cash just sitting in Robinhood. And I'm like, what a better place to throw my money is in MMAT before the huge run up starts. Why not start accumulating more MMAT shares down here to buck 30 before the big run up happens and just keep adding to my position. So I feel pretty good with that investment and I'll keep adding to that position. Uh, we, like I said here, Meta support channels started today. Today we were going for day number 12. We did not make it. We made day 11. So it is what it is. So I believe that is all I got for you in today's video. But like I said, guys, keep in mind, we had 11 green days in a row and today was our first red day. So keep that in mind. Um, I believe here, if I pull up and then TLP stock. Let's just look here at like the last, I mean, five days up 16% and one month up 335%. So yeah, uh, down 6% today, who cares? I mean, if you've been buying back here, you're up 335%. Keep that in mind. So hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash thumbs up. Drop me a comment down below and I will catch you on next video, guys. Because I know you better prepare for when I'm a future meta millionaire. Peace.